Hey folks, thanks for stopping by. Dustin Furlow here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana, and on my lap I've got this 2013 Quasinka Triple O model, and it's got some really crazy tone woods on this one. So a Tunnel 13 Redwood top, and some lovely African Blackwood for the back and sides. Now this tone wood combo is as deep, rich, and harmonically complex as you could ask for in a guitar. So that with the 12 fret, and the body size gives you some really juicy mids and some really beautiful lush trebles. Uh, I had a real blast getting to know this guitar. This is the first uh, Kwasinki I've had the pleasure of playing. It's a Canadian luthier uh, who's definitely worth looking into further. Um, and very clean build as well, I should say. The finish and the woodworking are very top shelf. Um, so really impressed there. But just really the sound of this guitar, I'm not... Personally, I'm not somebody who usually gets 12 fret guitars because of the reach thing and because of the orientation, it just throws me off. But this is one of the first 12 frets where I was like, yeah, I could definitely like stand to have this one around. It's a really beautiful, beautiful tone and it's got good headroom too. Really nice bloom too. Trebles are just liquidy and just yeah, just really inspiring, beautiful stuff. So I, I really love this guitar. Um, it's got these really nice details on the rosette, which are very unique too. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, I'll blow up some photos, of course. Um, and it's got some really clean purfling work for the fingerboard and the top. It's got a five-piece neck as well. Looks to be uh, rosewood, mahogany, and maple. And of course, there's this beautiful inlay. I'm, I'm really, really happy that I brought my uh, macro lens for my camera for this trip. Sort of get some detailed shots of these inlays on a couple other guitars. So I'll, of course, blow up a photo of that and take that in. But really, this African Blackwood is just stunning to look at as well. It's a bit of a difficult to photograph wood, but I'll blow up the photos and you'll hopefully see some more texture to the grain. It's, it's almost like it's on fire. It's really beautiful, this cut. Um, it's got a nice um, neck heel uh, pin here that looks to be either a really highly figured piece of maple or actually bone of some sort. Uh, very cool. It's got a nice abalone dot on there too. Uh, something that also I noticed right away with this guitar is the neck volute it is very unique. It's got this sort of triangle, triangular meeting, meeting point there but it's really smooth to the touch and it just really highlights the, the quality of the woodworking that went into this. Um, and something else that's really cool. So you see this sap wood, you can probably see it very obviously here on the video, um, but the truss rod cover perfectly meets and flows into it. I didn't even notice there was a truss rod cover until I looked closely and it flows perfectly into that head veneer. And just a really stunning piece of uh, craftsmanship, this guitar. So. It's got 510 Goto tuners, 1 to 21 ratio, very, very smooth and exact. Um, it's got a two and a quarter bridge spacing, inch and three quarter nut, fairly standard. Uh, 25.4 scale, so you can drop down uh, fairly low. I'm in drop D here. Uh, but I think one of the recordings might have been down to C, uh, totally fine. But uh, if there's any questions about this guitar, anything that I missed, you're welcome to email Alan at cedarrockstudio.com and he'll be happy to chat with you. It's been a pleasure showing you this guitar and uh, have a great day. Thanks.